Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Midlothian, Virginia, and we are going to take a look at a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home situated here in a nice, well-maintained subdivision. It is currently uh, below freezing out here. Uh, schools have been canceled today, and there's ice on the ground. Uh, most of my counterparts are holed up in a nice warm office or somewhere in a Starbucks sipping a venti caramel macchiato with extra whip and uh, I'm out here bringing you good deals here in the elements. Gotta be careful here, we've got ice and a little bit of moisture. I'm gonna see if I can navigate these steps without becoming a statistic. I'm gonna go in and show you this beautiful bank owned or government owned home. Uh, as we come in, we've got Nice looking wood floors. They do need to be refinished. Here to the left, we have our stairs and the powder room. Once again, those wood floors do transition uh, right on into the powder room. So it's very convenient. And we've got a nice open floor plan here. Uh, we've got a little bit of a partition here uh, at the entryway, but nice open living area. Plenty of natural light flows into this home. We've got some nice detail here at the crown molding at the very top. The first floor is actually in um, pretty good condition. On the exterior, we did have some areas uh, that need to be repainted. Uh, it definitely does not require a full siding job. As we transition here into the formal dining room, we've got some nice chair rail and detail there. We also have the crown molding that continues. A couple of areas here that show some previous water damage. Of course, you would be entitled to a full-blown home inspection. Those simply could be old leaks that were taken care of. Uh, if they are current leaks, then that would be something that the home inspection would reveal. Here in the dining area, we've got space for a dinette table there, uh, a little pantry for additional food storage, and really nice floor plan here in this kitchen. This kitchen has undergone a renovation at some point. They put in a high definition laminate countertop and uh, we've got a nice beveled edge here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but that's an edge that is relatively new for that type of material. There are 42 inch cabinets for maximum food storage as well. The flooring in here looks just fine. I'm not sure what's going on here with this uh, zebra stripe down the middle, but um, that obviously can be taken out. I have a little storage nook there. And we're open to our family room. We've got a two-story vaulted family room here with a gas log fireplace as the focal point. Nice fan there. This room actually feels much larger than it actually is because of that nice tall ceiling. So really impressed with the floor plan here. This home is currently listed at $155,000. That means your monthly payments will be under $1,000 for a four bedroom, two and a half bath home here in Midlothian, which is very unusual. We have a sheet of ice, as you can probably see here. I'm gonna try to venture out. This is a very, very large custom deck. As you can see, we've got built-in seating here. Really nice backyard, a uh, little two-level deck here, uh, wooded, backyard we've got a play uh, apparatus back there in the back and um, just a really really good size I believe this is about four tenths of an acre if I remember correctly so very nice nicely situated home here in this subdivision uh, fortunately this home does have a one car garage as well and that is always a plus for additional storage we have uh, some additional storage space here up top that the previous owners put in. We do have a pedestrian door off to the side. The home is wired for Fios. We have a carrier gas furnace with central air right there. We heat water with natural gas as well. Here recently, lenders have decided, or actually the federal government via FHA has decided to reduce the mortgage premium most buyers, especially first time buyers now, use FHA for the financing because of the low down payment requirement. 
and that means that homes just got a little cheaper as a result of that reduction. If you have the interest of buying a home either now or in the future, please give me a call because the sooner you get started on the process, the better it is and typically the smoother the process goes. This is our first secondary bedroom. We do need carpet and probably paint in this room. These walls are almost black. We have a hall bath right here at the end of the hallway. Nice large vanity and a fiberglass tub shower enclosure. Shower head is in place. Second floor laundry. You would simply bring in your own washer dryer. Go right here on the second floor. Nice and convenient. Bedroom number two. Boy, this is bright. But of course, paint and carpet are cheap upgrades. You can customize the house exactly as you like. And then this is bedroom number three. Much brighter bedroom here. We've got a good high knee wall on the side. Actually, I have some built-ins. I didn't see this earlier. A little built-in nook there for a television. And, of course, your closet. And now into the master. Master has good size. We've got a vaulted ceiling once again. Ceiling fan. They had some wallpaper on the wall here. It looks like on one wall. And started taking it off. So you would simply just need to continue that removal process. Now, this is one of my favorite here. This is the master bath. We've got a stand-up shower enclosure. Once again, the wallpaper, they tried to cover it with some, uh, looks like some primer, but didn't quite finish. Beautiful garden tub here with windows on both sides. That's very unusual in this price range to see a nice feature like that. And we have a double vanity as well. So really nicely laid out master bath, nice and bright here. And um, I'm just really, really impressed with the way they laid this home out. If you have any questions about this, actually, I forgot the closet. We've got a walk-in closet here, plenty of storage for your clothing. If you have any questions about this or any other home, please give me a call. My name is Max Williams also. Be sure to like my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Richmond Area Foreclosures. My page on YouTube is Max Williams. And I put all my new videos there. Once again, if you have any questions about this or any other home on the market, please feel free to give me a call. I can only cover just a small fraction of the homes that are actually available. And if I know what you're looking for, in many cases, the homes don't even make it to video. I just immediately give you a call. Max Williams, 402-7788. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.